Hello Virgo, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a weekly reading for you for the end of the month, July 26th through the beginning of the month of August, so July 26th through August 1st, okay? Please keep in mind this is a general reading, so it may or may not resonate with everyone. Please take what you like and leave the rest for someone else. Also, please go check your Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs to make sure you're getting all of the messages that pertain to you, okay? All of the messages that actually are um, meant for you are uh, geared towards what you have in your natal chart, okay? Wh whatever your natal chart says for your Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs, okay? All right, let's jump in and see what messages you need to hear. The first one is key, successful outcome to your problems interesting so if you've been experiencing problems or um, you have been um, going through something um, there's going to be a successful outcome with whatever this is okay this could be related to work career um, friendship relationship whatever you you are experiencing that could be hindering you at this time it's going to be it's going to be okay all right we have butterfly, a change for the better. So it looks like change is coming. Every time I see a butterfly, I always think about transformation. So there is a transformation that's um, going to be taking place for you. And, you know, a, to me, a, su a successful outcome um, really talks to me about something that could be ending, right? May not end all your problems, but there's something here specifically um, that is going to be transforming into something better, okay? A situation that might be um, a bit of um, a bit of a nuisance maybe to you, okay? And it's going to be transforming into something good. Also, we have candle. You'll be shown the way. Some beautiful messages out here, Virgo beautiful beautiful messages and you know there's a lot of cards in this deck for you to get these beautiful messages like this I mean you know it is that's why I read that's why I do what I do because um, you just can't make this stuff up it's beautiful so you're gonna be shown the way there's gonna be you know someone helping you whether it's in the 3d someone uh, who you can rely on for advice or someone you can lean on um, or your spirit guides might be helping you okay maybe even your ancestors could be helping you along the way so I love that for you Virgo let's see what else we have for this upcoming week Okay, Spirit, what else does Virgo need to hear? All right, we have the moon. You will be guided through darkness. That is clarification. That you have support. You have people either here in the 3D or on the other side who are looking out for you. Okay, that's a beautiful message to go with the others that just came out. You have a lot of support, Virgo. You have a lot of um, people who care. Um, I'm not sure why I'm taking that back out here. A um, lot of people who are looking out for you, okay? People, spirits, ancestors, the universe, okay? Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Let's see what the tarot has to say. We're going to be um, looking at possible challenge here, okay, because of course we all deal with challenges. We need to kind of um, get some guidance on how to maneuver through these challenge, challenging uh, situations that we all experience. Um, I'm going to get some advice from Spirit and then uh, we'll find a possible solution, maybe an opportunity coming your way, okay. All right, let's jump right in. Spirit, what is the challenge for Virgo this week? Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Okay, we have the Page of Pentacles. 
something new, something tangible, um, and something that you may uh, currently be learning about or um, maybe haven't had a lot of experience in, okay? This could be related to work. It could be related to investing, possibly, maybe your money. Okay, see what the advice from Spirit is. Could be investing your time as well into something. Queen of Wands, beautiful. Someone who takes initiative, someone who knows what they want, and someone who's confident. Now we are in Leo season. This is um, Aries Leo Sagittarius energy. And I just have to bring up that we are in Leo season because we are definitely having to pay attention to our not only our confidence, but we have to be sure that we are not letting that turn into ego. Okay. So just something to think about. And then uh, the outcome is strength. Leo energy as well. Lots of, uh, lots of uh, fiery energy here, but I do feel here with this Page of Pentacles, this could be something that you may not um, have a lot of experience in, okay? This could be um, definitely maybe moving into um, new investments, uh, maybe even a new business, something that's fresh and new, okay? Let's look and see. Let's get some clarification and see what this is about. What is this Page of Pentacles here for? Why is it here? Four of Wands. Okay, yeah. We're talking about your stability here, okay? The Chariot. That's coming in quick. I do feel raise, promotion. Um, moving up the ladder is what I'm hearing. We got the Ten of Wands. Ending burdens. One more here, please. Thank you. And definitely um, being recognized, okay? Stand in your ground as well. Now, now I'm feeling recognition here, um, not only in a good way, but there are some people who possibly could be a little jealous of, of you. I'm feeling that, okay? Um, but I do feel here there's some stability that you're working towards. And I have a feeling, as I said at the beginning, this Virgo has to do with investments, it has to do with your money um, and whatever whatever's happening here it's coming in quickly so this could be something that an opportunity that comes your way that allows you to um, invest your money allows you to maybe even save your money whatever you know whatever an investment looks like to you but it is coming in quick and this is going to really help with your um, not only your financial stability but it's going to help in your home as well um, you could be in a committed relationship with someone who you share responsibility with so this is going to help in your home as well um, I do feel that whatever this is, it's going to end some of your burdens that you've been experiencing. I do feel that there's been a lot of burden on uh, either you, and it could be financially, or um, it could be you and your partner together, okay? I do feel that this is coming to an end because this is the Ten of Wands. Tens are completion. And again, I do feel here with this Seven of Wands, um, there are some people here that are not only recognizing you for your efforts in a good way, but there are also people who may want to try to bring you down, okay? Don't let that happen. And I don't feel that you will because we have the Queen of Wands here. Um, this is really showing that you put your best foot forward, you're confident, you know what you want, and you get what you want. So I don't feel here that you... Um, you know you're too worried about these people but there's going to be some strength that is required here okay in the outcome let's go ahead and continue to look at these cards what is this queen of wands the world success that's worldly success that's fulfillment and it's uh, moving into a new cycle so whatever this burden was for you in the past or even in the recent past that's coming to an end um, you're moving into a new cycle, and this could be financially, it could be in a relationship, it could be overall moving into something new. You might be doing new things, you might be um, experimenting with new things, maybe even um, changing the way you look, maybe changing your hair up, changing um, your routine, maybe even going back to the gym, whatever it is for you, I feel that it's a new cycle and you're really feeling confident at this time. Okay, Let's see what else 
What else do we have for this Queen of Wands? Three of Cups. You're celebrating, Virgo. You are celebrating because it's a new time for you. Um, I do feel that very strongly. It's a new time for you. I feel like you're on top of the world here. I really do. I feel like you're feeling good. You're feeling good and you have um, lots of confidence. We have the Hierophant. You could be dealing with the Taurus. And we do have the Ace of Cups. Oh, wow. Beautiful. Um, I do feel that there is spiritual love here very strongly. Um, now, this could be spiritual love for, you know, yourself. It could be spiritual love for your belief system, for, you know, whatever you believe in. Um, very highly feel here that you um, are on a spiritual journey of some kind. I guess we all are in a way, right? Um, I can't speak for everybody, but I do feel that most of us are trying to find our way. Um, and I do feel here with this Hierophant card that you definitely are, but you are also um, on your way to opening up your heart, um, possibly um, moving into either new love or um, some sort of, of, of love um, with another person. Okay, and I do feel here that you, like I said, you're feeling like you're on top of the world. Um, I feel that with this Queen of Wands, you're, you're just very confident in your financial situation, and I think you're ready to open your heart more to people in your life as well. Um, yeah, and, and with these cards here, you know, um, a change for the better and a successful outcome to your problems. Um, that really goes hand in hand with what I'm seeing here. Let's look at what the strength card is here for. What is this here for? Spirit, why? Why is strength here? Why does Virgo need strength here? Please clarify. We have the Empress, Libra energy. You could have Libra in your chart. You do feel a lot of creative energy as well with this card, specifically for you. And I do have the Six of Pentacles. The Queen of Cups. Yeah, there's the... Um, give and take with love, right? there. I feel that there's um, uh, a connection here where there is equal give and take in love, and this is definitely a wish fulfillment. Beautiful. Uh, I think that this these cards here are clarifying strength because um, the Empress talks about nurturing something. Now, I feel that maybe in the past there was something that maybe fell by the wayside, um, because I'm showing here that, that th the reason you may need strength to nurture a connection and be able to give the, the equal give and take in this love connection um, is because maybe there was not any in the past, okay? Um, I do feel here with this Ace of Cups, this is a new beginning. This is a new way of thinking, a new way of feeling, a new way of maneuvering forward. And I do feel it has something to do with this spiritual love. Um, this is a beautiful, beautiful message. The Empress um, is someone who is nurturing, okay? Someone who is um, love, someone who is love, okay? Someone who is abundant in love, okay? Um, she, or this energy, not she, but this energy is um, the energy of new beginnings and growth. And I feel that there is going to be growth in a give and take uh, situation with someone who you connect with, okay? I do really feel that there is this um, wish fulfillment that you have um, that is related to a love connection. Some, I believe that there is someone here in your life that you definitely are connected very deeply to. Um, I do see, and I'm just going to point out some of, this, some of the signs. I see Cancer. Um, I see uh, Taurus. Um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Libra, and Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. So it could be really anybody here, okay? Any one of the signs. But um, nonetheless, um, you will be guided through the darkness, and you will be shown the way. So if you're having a problem, um, 
as it says here, a successful outcome to your problem, it's going to come to an end, okay? There's going to be a change for the better, and I do feel it has to do with love here. I do feel that it has to do with not only love, but I also see money here and investments. I think that you're going to be uh, coming across an opportunity um, in the money sector um, that's going to allow you to invest in something that will bring in great return, okay? So money and love here, beautiful messages for you, Virgo. I'm very happy to do your reading today. I hope that it resonated. Um, if it did, please like the video, okay? That shows me that you support my channel. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do that. Um, if you are subscribed, thank you. I appreciate your support. So I'm going to leave it here. Um, and until next time, I hope you guys have a great week. Love you. Namaste.